All right, every so often it's time for some JP previews. And uh, after an extended break previous week from uh, GBQ, here I am back again with more videos this week. And uh, there's a lot of stuff I want to do this week, just uh, as a little bit of a brief introduction, some of the things I'm working on right now. I'm working on a guide for building the elements over the next three months, what vision cards, characters, uh, equipment, and so on and so forth you should be building if you're looking to do a specific element for the future or making that element your mastery. Now, obviously, I don't have everything. I don't have everything perfected, but uh, working on it. So yeah, as well as a few other things that I want to get done. But today we are here to be talking about Resnick and um, a brand new character to the JP side. Unfortunately, this is a pretty early thing because as I am just about to reload and live pre-recorded as I am recording this. Check. No, her data is not up on Wode of Calc, so unfortunately, just gonna have to fill in uh, the numbers a bit later. But we, I have enough details at this point that I'm willing to make a pretty sound uh, review about this character. I've already tested her a little bit. Um, before I give a final preview, one of the big things I need to test is I need the friend unit and I need to test her AI to see where her priorities lie. All right, so Resnick, um, what to say about this character? Obviously a big missing component on the UR Thunder Elemental team was a support healer and here she is and a representing the Hindra nation. As we all know, Hindra is the best nation, Oberon is the best leader, and the best looking votive character. Don't at me. All right, next up, let's talk about this character, starting with the Trust Mastery, because this is by far and away, I think, the worst piece of this character. 364 HP, 6 defense, 12, uh, 12 spirit. It's just not an impressive stat line. I'm not over the moon on this thing. But if it wasn't bad enough, this is the thing that really seals the deal for me. This three turn ability to increase resistance of all attacks with allies within range. Obvious benefits here, it's not uh, centered around the character, meaning that you can cast it, um, you know, ahead of the character towards units that you want to support. That's great. It's a three turn bonus, that's fine. Um, it's only a 10% increase. I tested it earlier on stream to see precisely how much, and we'll come back to this image in a second. Sorry for the glaring white bit, but it is what it is. Uh, you can see the, the before and after with uh, 9S here, which was the unit I was testing on. The uh, TMR ability gave a 10% boost. I have to say, this is incredibly underwhelming. Given some of the TMRs we've seen lately, I know they're on limited units, and I know they're trying to make a case that limited units are better, but maybe a little bit too hard they pushed in that direction. This TMR doesn't feel that great. I don't see my using it that often. It's probably in some conditions good, but maybe it would have been better if it had been a little more specialized. I don't know. And only a single use. I just don't think this TMR is that good. All right, next up, talking about this unit, uh, Limit Burst. Did get to test this limit burst out earlier today, which I am very, very happy for, to do, because uh, that was one of the questions. It is a healing limit burst, so how good of a healing limit burst it is, it's rather important, but uh, oh, just by skimmed right by it. Basically recovers HP of allies within range, from what I could tell with her uh, seemed to be about 7,000 of an HP heal, which is a fine, decent amount. It's a little lower than I thought it was going to be. Her new, the new weapon that came out today, uh, the new piece of magic equipment is in fact a healing bonus up staff. So I was kind of expecting her healing to be a little bit stronger than that. Also releases all weakness for attack uh, for three turns and magic. Power. So basically, it's a kind of dispel feature. I think on stream I got it backwards and thought it was a buff. It's not a buff. It's 
fine. It's a it's a cleansing limit first and a healing limit first. The only thing I really think, though, is that uh, the healing power wasn't as impressive as I thought, especially for a level 120 friend unit. I think given that we're starting to see units that are crossing the 10,000 HP threshold, I really thought that this unit would do that as well, and that wasn't the case. So Resnick, in terms of her limit burst, is you know on par with other healers but i was kind of hoping to one up all right taking a look at her we'll, we'll bring back up this image because it also has her stats in the bottom left corner here this is on a purely thunder elemental team so i i noted that her magic could get upwards of 1500 on a purely magic team not sure if you necessarily want to do that because again at this point haven't tested her ai too much don't know if she's really going to be all in on attacking other units but thief really gives her a high amount of speed as you can see um, based on that thunder team she had over a 100 speed none of her equipment was contributing to that so she is just a pretty naturally fast character and that does come from the fact thief's knowledge gives her speed up and move up other than that she has steel heart uh, increase avoidance, um, have target CT, hit rate down. So her, her thief is really a lot of support and um, it has, if nothing else, the support skill of getting higher movement and higher speed is definitely going to be used. As for the rest of them, uh, certain situations I could see you potentially equipping thief but only for its support abilities. As for Arithmetician, she has the healing abilities, both the uh, single target healing as well as the AoE healing. That's good since she's probably going to be a little more towards the healing side. She also, of course, has the counter from Arithmetician. Um, she has the CT average ability and she has level 4 Thundar. So she did get the big AoE attack, which is nice. Interestingly, uh, and she got the large AoE don't act. I mean, it's mostly healing some damage. It didn't really go, if I was to say, it didn't go super hard towards the, <clears throat> what am I thinking of? The, um, oh damn it, this escaped me for a second, but I'll, I'll get it. Um, she didn't go super hard support or damage. I think she's right down the middle. So that's actually a nice little balance for her. Now, providing her AI does what I want, <laughs> it will be fine. Now, as for her main job, um, Devout, yeah, I double checked that one before I said that. She does have the support, defense, and spirit up with magic power down. That is being run on the current version that you can see of the character. So she has losing 20% of her magic power, but she still has a pretty high magic stat anyway, and a pretty good amount of defense and spirit. With the equipment focused more towards here, uh, her having a better defense than a magic defense. All right. In the sub part of her job, uh, she has Law of Disaster, which increases attack and slashing resistance, as well as a healing spell. Probably totally worth it. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'll just call it. Uh, don't run Devout sub abilities, just run Arithmetician. That seems very good. Other than that, her Devout is pretty much what you expect. The healing ability, the recover HP and increase attack magic power and quickness for three turn ability, the uh, defense and mental improvement for three turns and improvement of healing for three turns, uh, the sleep explosion ability, one of my favorites, and increase a lightning attribute attack on a unit for three turns. Honestly, all in all, uh, not bad. Taking a look at uh, what she gets uh, into her EX, however, uh, her support for or for Devout, sorry, does get improved to have some range attack resistance on it. Okay. The new job level 25 skill is establish a barrier to reduce physical damage to all uh, others than yourself three times make it harder for yourself to be targeted by enemies so pretty interesting if i'm reading this so basically it does give a barrier to an ally that's a great support skill and very useful it is only physical though so it isn't protecting against magic that's a little bit scary and the 
hatred decrease on this unit is probably really good and will probably be really useful. Other than that, uh, the thunder or increased resistance to lightning attribute attacks, weakness resistance, single attack, allies for three turns, shortens the activation of own abilities for three turns. That's the one that gets upgraded, and the only thing it gets upgraded with is a range increase, which is still fine. Being able to support from a further distance away is a good skill to have. But my overall impression thus far of um, Reznik is just, wow, is she okay? She is the most okay unit I've ever seen. I mean, I know they're trying to make us feel that limiteds are the only way to go, and that's definitely the way I feel looking at this unit, and I'm not super excited about that, but the TMR here is just not that... The TMR I consider to be uh, pretty bad um, for, you know, raising a level 99 unit. Um, the limit burst is, you know, it, it's on par with her other healing allies, so sure, Lightning needs it, I don't think that's any problem whatsoever. In terms of what her kit is, it looks really solid, with Arithmetician providing her offensive and healing capabilities, both AoE and single target, while Thief provides her with a speed bonus, and Debout provides a some an extra attack and a fair amount of supports. She's a very well-rounded character, which I would expect no less from. Um, it's just, right now, definitely... Uh, uh, maybe a little bit hard to afford for JP players who have focused so much on other characters lately. And the other thing is as a level, or as a 90 cost character, she's not limited, so eventually you can get this character uh, much easier. Now, if for whatever reason a, someone from Gumi is watching this video, hello. Second of all, don't stop 90 cost characters just because they are, you know, not major pull ones. I mean, you've already done enough of those banners. We really need more 90 cost characters, A, for limited guild wars, and B, just because the pool uh, is pretty pathetic at this point uh, for long-term players, uh, you know, uh, especially mid-tier players, uh, or mid-payer players, I guess I should say. Uh, the thing is, is just there, there really hasn't been anything else since farm on the Japanese side and that is just people are running out of stuff so make some more 90 cost characters you know release multiple of them at once even if you have to if you want to get to more limited banners fine I guess but <laughs> you know we need some more 90 cost characters so I'm really happy to see this character um, probably even just deep down happy to see that she's uh, the most you know she's a well-rounded character and everything like that and I look forward to getting her in the future she's not a priority but she is incredibly valuable towards light, the lightning element. So good, uh, good character. Just want to see her AI to see, and uh, percentages on Wood of Calc in case there's anything really surprising here. But yeah, nice character. Really happy w with her. And uh, just to show off those stats one more time, uh, maintaining a pretty high magic and HP stat, all things considered. So yeah, uh, hope you found this video helpful. Hope you found it interesting, and uh, see you all next time.